Hi, my name's Inem Koka. I work for Aston Martin Formula One team as an aero model designer. So most of my role as an aero model designer is working with the aerodynamicists. I work with the machinists and ADM technicians, understanding what each party wants and understanding what we can actually achieve. So in a way, it's almost the middleman between what we want and what we can achieve. And then working with both of them, all the parties to put into action and create these 60% scale models, which we actually test in the wind tunnel. So I raced a bit. I raced against a couple of current drivers like Lando um, and Joe Guanyu. But obviously at a certain point, you need more funding. And I didn't have that, which is when I'd like to say I switched, but my dad was always quite straightforward with me that I needed to carry on with my education anyway. So it wasn't much of a switch. I just carried on doing what I was doing on the engineering side. And I think as well, it gave me a good background, which I could use when looking for these kind of jobs, because I already had experience with racing, experience with engineering, hands-on as a mechanic as well. Uh, so I think it gave me a bit of an advantage in that sense. Yeah, I think I got to about 6'2 when I was racing and my knees were hitting the steering wheel. I like to tell people I didn't make it because I was too tall. That's my excuse. <laughs> what brought me to this exact role is I did aerospace at university, so I had a good background in understanding aerodynamics. And before I worked this role, I did two years at another motorsport company, which specialised in steering systems for race cars. And that gave me a lot of the mechanical design knowledge that I also needed for this role. So a mix of the aerodynamics background from university, plus my mechanical knowledge from my work in industry, brought me to this role, which is essentially an aero model design engineer role. So I think for anyone starting off, the qualifications you would need, you need to focus on physics and maths based subjects for most of the engineering roles and especially my role. Things like getting involved in motorsport, volunteering at your local go-kart track or even just volunteering for engineering in general to show you've got a passion for engineering or a passion for motorsport, I think is really important because at the end of the day, you might have thousands of people who've all got the same degree as you. So one way that you can stand out is your work experience as well. Hope to inspire other kids like myself. Growing up, you're watching TV, you're not seeing many people who represent you. Someone like Lewis comes in and then you've got someone to aspire to, but then even in the engineering side, still trying to grow that influence and someone as a kid can see someone who represents them as well and they can believe that they can do it. And there's so many young engineers now that I think will be coming through in the next 20 years that could say, yeah, I was inspired because I saw this person or because this happened. So I think it'll only drive the sport forward and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen. Thank you.